Hey, what's happening, guys? This should look relatively familiar to you, minus the LED there, so I'll cover it up. This is the exact same setup we used for our analog read uh, sketch in the last program where we talked about how to read values from the uh, analog pins. All I've done today is I have added an LED and a resistor, and now we can use our potentiometer to control the brightness of the resistor. What's happening, and it's really simple, the potentiometer is connected to the positive rail, it is also connected to the ground rail, and that center pin, the wiper, comes over here to analog zero. So the potentiometer is going to vary the voltage between in this case, 5 volts and 0 volts, and that output is going to go over here to A0, where this little chip here, the 328P, the actual Arduino chip on this nano board, is going to read that value. It's going to process that value, and that value between 0 and 1023 is a 10-bit value. We're going to process that value and turn it into a PWM value that we can use to turn on this light at various levels. But in order to do that, we need to take the 10-bit value and turn it into an 8-bit value. And we can do that with a simple Arduino command called map. Nothing to it. But before we do that, let's take our little project here and hook it up to the oscilloscope so you can actually see the waveform here okay give me one second to put things together okay we're set up here and currently we are turned all the way down so you see nothing now i'm going to start increasing the potentiometer and look at that you start to see something and as i turn up the potentiometer what you can see is that well, the only thing that's changing is the amount that this square wave is on. So one second, please. So hopefully that's making some sense to you. Here we are at zero. That's what the analog pin is reading, zero. We're bringing in a little more now. It's probably reading, you know, maybe 50 or 60. But as we increase it, it goes closer and closer until it finally gets to that 1023. In this case, yeah, 1023. You might get to 1022. But that's almost completely on. The LED is as bright as it can be. That is about 50%, 25%. 10%. You get the idea. Let's go over to the computer and check out the code. All right, let's take a look at the code here. And a lot of it is going to be based off of our last program we've written, which was to use the potentiometer to read the value of the analog pot. So we have, again, our integer variable called potentiometer set as zero. Now we have a new integer variable called brightness also set at zero. And you'll notice we've lost the float value we use to determine the volts. That's not necessary here. So when we begin our setup, we're going to start again by telling the pins how we want them to behave. Do we want them to be inputs or do we want them to be outputs? So analog zero is going to be an input. And digital three is going to be an output. And once again, we're going to turn on our serial communications because they're fantastic for debugging. Like, if something's not doing what you expect it to do, then just watch the variable and see if it's changing. If the variable isn't changing, then you can go back to the line that causes the change and see what the problem is. So that's it. That's our entire setup. We tell two pins how to behave and turn on our serial communications. So now we're going to get down to the actual logic of the program, the loop. Now, we're going to start off <clears throat> by
by putting a value in the potentiometer. And that value is going to be whatever is living on analog zero. So we're going to read that pin and store its value in potentiometer. All right. Next, we're going to print the value of potentiometer to the serial port. And we're going to put a space between it. And then we're going to print with a carriage return after it brightness. Well, what is brightness? We haven't seen that. Well, it's right here. Brightness, that integer variable that we declared up here, uses the map function. And we'll talk about that in just a second. And then we are going to do an analog write on pin 3, which is a PWM pin, which means we can do an analog write to a digital pin as long as it's one of the PWM pins. That'll allow us to kind of fake varying the voltage so we can vary the um, brightness of the LED. <clears throat> so now we have the map command. What is the map command? Well, let's go directly to the source. We'll go help reference. And we'll find it. I don't remember where it's at, so we'll just do a fine map. There it is, it's under map. So map remaps a number from one range to another. Make sense? All right. So here's how it works. Our brightness, this variable, the value in it, is going to be a map. It's going to be a function. Of the value of what's in potentiometer which is between 0 and 1023 and as one of you point out it's actually a 10-bit number and then we're going to map those numbers between 0 and 254 which is an 8-bit number that's something that we can use and I'm going to show you how this works in a second so you can get a better understanding of it and then again finally we just our analog bright, brightness right and it's going to put the LED at that level there's just really not that much going on here but if you're just beginning you're just starting out writing something like this is incredible and uh, it's gonna be a good accomplishment for you okay so we got you a kind of a dual screen here on the one side you can see the serial monitor for the Arduino which is all zeros and on the other side here you can see our little demo board so as we start to turn up now the LED is just lit and if we look over here the first number the number on the left is the raw reading and it's reading a 12 and if you look over here on the second one it's reading like switching between a 2 and a 3 so in this case the 12 is translated to a 2 or a 3 let's turn it up some more now we're reading 170 and our mapped out value is a 41. So let's turn this up to about 125, which should be right about in the middle. Somewhere in that area. It's right about in the middle. And as you can see, our left numbers are right around 500. Our right numbers are around 130. So we're right there in the middle. And we turn it all the way up. Our LED is as bright as it can possibly be, and we're maxed out at 1023 and 254. We turn it down to where the LED just lights, and we're at 18 and 4. So, hopefully, that gives you a good idea of how we can do this. All right? So, if you're just getting started with Arduino, pay attention to this Arduino Foundation series, because... I think this is the third video it might be the fourth but they all lead up to doing this today you can go from not knowing a thing about arduino to being able to do this in just a couple easy lessons so i hope you enjoyed it if you did give me a thumbs up feel free to comment share and don't forget to subscribe big thanks to all the patrons big thanks to you guys for watching that's it i'm out peace